Welcome fellow miners. This video will introduce you to ProHashing, the most profitable, transparent, and fully featured pools throughout the internet. This guide will assist you in configuring your miners and then show you how to get paid in any coin that you would like and get started within just a few minutes. Let's begin with showing how to register an account at the ProHashing website. To visit the website, you'll go to ProHashing.com, as you can see in the address bar of this Chrome browser window. And once there, simply click the Register button in the upper right. I will create a new user and enter a password for that user. I'll agree to the terms of service. And I'll also enter an email address. It's not required to enter an email address, but entering an email address allows you to be notified of important information. For example, if somebody were to gain access to your account and change your payout address, you would receive an email notifying you of that before any payouts would happen. So while not required, we strongly recommend that you enter an email address when signing up. Click register to register and that's as easy as it is to create an account. You'll now see the getting started page and the first step of course was registering which we've done and then the next step is to add payout options. So let's do that. You can click on payout settings or you can use the hamburger menu to, and click on payouts at any time. Payouts at ProHashing are issued on a proportional basis. Many pools often pay out only in one coin or in the exact same coin that you've mined. But at ProHashing, you can specify percentages of coins that can be paid out however you like. The default coin is Litecoin, as you can see in this account's payout proportions. But let's say that we want to change it so that we also earn Bitcoins. To do that, I will choose to add a new payout option and I will choose Bitcoin as one of the coins that I want to add. And then I'll need to enter a Bitcoin address. Addresses are mandatory for all ProHashing customers. And the reason that is is because we want to make sure that we're not holding too much money. And by paying out customers, that's really the best security feature that we can have because hackers can't steal what we don't have. I'm going to paste a random Bitcoin address into this field. And then we'll talk about payout thresholds in the advanced videos. So I'll just click OK. After saving the data, you'll see that the payout options have been saved successfully. But now we still have 100% of payout proportions devoted to Litecoins. And the reason that is is because the default coin is Litecoins. Litecoins have a very low transaction fee and can be paid out every day for free to most customers. If you want to add Bitcoins like we did, you'll need to change the payout proportions. And let's say that you want 50% Bitcoins and 50% Litecoins. So I changed it to 50-50. Then I'll choose Save Proportions. And now the proportions are saved. So all the mining from this point forward will be credited in 50% Bitcoins and 50% Litecoins, regardless of what coins are mined or what algorithm your ASICs, GPUs, or CPUs are actually mining. Now that we've got that set up, let's take a look at how to actually start your miners. And to do that, you're going to need to look at the GPU Quick Start Guide. That can be accessed by looking at Help, Guides, and then GPU Quick Start. I'm going to switch over to a different screen now so that we can take a look together at how to start this miner. On this screen, <coughs> I have already copied step one in the GPU Quick Start Guide, which is to download GMiner. That link brings you to this page, and you can click on the GMiner Windows 64.zip file to extract GMiner for Windows, or if you're using Linux or some other operating system, then you can click on that package to extract that one. I've already done that, and I've <coughs> extracted it to this directory 
in this remote server over here. Step two is to modify the start script, which in this case, because we are going to test Ethereum mining with a GPU, using the uh, using Notepad for the mine eth.bat file. So let's do that. I will edit this file in Notepad. This is the default value that is needed for mining at hash if you wanted to mine at the pool that gminer defaults to. But since we're mining at prohashing, we need to configure our workers and gather the configuration information. So let's go back to prohashing's website and let's take a look at the worker configurator under tools and then worker configurator. We're going to add in a few basic pieces of information to our worker options and that will allow Prohashing to suggest the correct username and password arguments to connect to the site. So we'll leave this at custom manufacturer because we are us using a GPU right now and we will choose edhash as the mining algorithm. The hash rate of this RX 6800 XT graphics card, which is in the test server, is about 60 mega hashes per second, so I will configure that. And then that card uses about 250 watts, so I will type that into the wattage field. It's not a cloud miner, and under advanced options I'm going to name the worker, because if a worker isn't named, then it will display in ProHashing's dashboard as a random string of numbers and statistics won't be tracked. So it's important to name your worker. And here I will just simply name it test worker. But you can name your workers whatever you'd like. I'm not going to worry about grouping. That's for a future advanced video. But I will track electricity usage and I will set an electricity cost of 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And then I will be able to see what the estimated profits are per day. So I can expect to earn mining at hash right now $6.32 per day using this card with electricity costs of 60 cents per day and an estimated overall profit of 572 per day. And then down in the worker configuration section we have the connection URL, username, and password. That's what's going to go into that notepad document. Let's go over there now. So in the notepad document, I'm going to copy the username and replace this username with the username I want to use. I'm going to replace the password and add the dash dash pass argument. And I'm going to enter in a development test server. You would enter in prohashing.com in this field as it's specified in the worker configurator. Now that this is saved, I can click on the mine eth.bat that we just edited and it will start mining. And this is what you should see once mining has begun. After generating the DAG, then on the ProHashing website, we can visit the dashboard page and we can see that a new individual worker has appeared. And because we named it test underscore worker in the worker configurator, that worker's name is displayed here. Right now it's gotten one share submitted and it is still waiting for more shares to be submitted before its hash rate can be calculated, but we're well on our way to mining. Thank you for viewing our introductory video for how to mine at ProHashing. In our next advanced video, we'll describe some of the advanced features that the pool has, such as portfolio targeting, mining for charities, and configuring charts, graphs, and even worker group statistics. We'll hope to see you in that video. Have a great day.